Welcome, Maya. Maya is a member of uh, Artist Anonymous, and we of Vernissage TV, we saw your last exhibition called The Gunslinger and Other True Stories in Berlin. And we were very surprised, and we liked the, ex the exhibition very much. And we're now in Zurich, a town of Venison, where you're showing the new exhibition virus. Maya, can you tell us in a few words about the exhibition and the group? Um, actually, it's a, it's a nice thing that you saw the other show because it was the, the one before the last one, before this one uh, of the Apocalyptic Warriors, what is a series of six exhibitions with, uh, with, with, the, with, the, with the theme of the writers of the apocalypse, like war and hunger and death. And um, because of modern times, we edit things like virus and drugs. And um, so now we, we are actually in the middle of the, of the last show of this um, series. And um, as we just um, talked about, uh, we are using ourselves as the protagonists of the painting. So actually each member of the group is representing one of these figures. So uh, you, uh, you always have like a, a half documentary level in the work itself because you're always meeting the same figures again and again. So one of us was the last warrior death in the gunslinger in berlin the show with it with the sand <laughs> and uh now we are yeah now we are at virus and this is her <laughs> you so. told us before that there are certain rules within your group like <laughs> no drugs uh, no alcohol yeah, and all, then again yeah. you have these themes in your in your pictures is can you tell us the, the um, connection between? Yeah, these? we just we just had this uh, little chat about the rules of the group because uh, because it was the question if somebody can join the group and the thing is normally nobody wants to join the group because we have these rules we kind of um, reduced it to a level where each of us can live with actually and each of us has an own history with things like that and um, we agreed to a very very simple thing we just don't do it even if we have don't have a problem with it or if we have a problem with it but we just don't do it it's like if you have a kid if your kid uh, doesn't uh, for your kid is not uh, healthy to get cigarette smoke so you don't smoke so uh, it's affecting another person and so we agreed to this kind of level where we all are happy with Artist Anonymous exists of three people right now is the group open for new persons Oh, we always thought we are, but uh, actually nobody wants to join us. <laughs> so I think it's something, no, you can't, you can't fake things like this. You can't uh, set it up. You can't say, oh, let's have a group and do art together. It's happening and you have to kind of follow your path in your life. And there's not the question if somebody's joining or not. It, it's not coming up. So I can't answer that because it's, it never was questioned that somebody wants to join or not, or we don't want it or whatever. It's not, it's not like this. You're going to Berlin in the future. You move to certain places in Germany, in England, and now the decision uh, has been for Berlin. Mm -hmm. When are you moving and why in the end Berlin? Uh, we move in spring, like in March. I have a very nice studio there. And um, actually, it is just everything is much easier. Everything is much easier in Berlin because actually I'm personally coming from there originally and I know where I am and I can do everything what I want. I know where I get everything and it's very easy to work there for me. And um, the other reason I think is that Berlin, I think needs not only just people going there, opening galleries and renting studios cheaply and uh, uh, but actually people doing something. And we have an own exhibition space there. We, we, we uh, do projects with other artists. We, we do a lot of stuff. So um, I think it's a good thing to be there. We just had our big solo uh, like in September and now we're doing projects with, with different, different younger artists in, in our space. And then there will be um, yeah, there will be a big thing in September for the art fair, but I will not tell yet. <laughs> so, big secret. Let's come back to Zurich, to the exhibition here. You said something like painting is very important for you in this exhibition here. 
probably more important than the installations which one can see as well. Mm. Yeah, actually, I mean, painting is very important for us anyway because we are actually painters. We come from painting and every media we use, we use from the perspective of a painter. If we do a video, it's a painting. If we do an installation, it's a painting too. So it's quite important. And in this show, we did a lot more real paintings for the show than we normally do and focus a lot on that. And um, this is why you have this very nice salon room here for the nice artwork. And actually what, um, what always gets lost on the way is that we for sure also sometimes have this kind of, it's not really a joke, but it's like if you're blinking with your eyes, you know, this kind of moment where there's a little humor in it, this kind of that you are a painter and it's a very heavy media and everybody takes it very, very serious. And uh, so you have this wooden floor and the wallpaper to actually have a respectable um, environment for that. And um, this is part of the whole story of, of, the, of the show. So yeah, but I think actually, yeah, painting, painting is anyway, is like something what we are, always stepping back to. I can imagine that you choose the wallpaper here, which is <laughs> yeah, <sure>. very <laughs> important, I think. You can see a lot of ornaments. It's a kind of an old-fashioned room and then very colorful pictures in the front. Have these ornament wallpapers a special meaning? Uh, no, it's just, I mean, we, we, we work a lot with patterns and the that, that it is a pattern, what is repeating itself, is a part of the idea, what is it about. But um, no, actually it is something what, like the children's carpet in the front room, where you have immediate association with, where you immediately think, it's like with, with a film set or something, you, you, you have a room and it is made like this, and you have an immediate uh, association about where you are and what is happening there. So. This is, this is what we are doing, bringing you and the situation. And um, yeah, that's what's happening. <laughs> okay, Maya, thank you very much for this short interview and we wish you very much success for your exhibition. Thank you. <laughs>